This is Greta, who spent two years in a shelter. And uh, as a result, she does not like, uh, ever since she's been adopted, she does not like going outside. So we're in downtown Santa Monica, and we're using this little balcony as a way of getting Greta just a little bit of experience going outside by creating a little bit of a lure with tossing these treats and a positive reinforcer. And you see right there, she's looking. This is the first time she's been out here. And uh, it's raining, which doesn't do very often here in Southern California. And so there aren't a lot of people out there. Now you see that treat, it's right about here. It's a little bit too far for her, but she's taking note of what's going on out there. And then, yes. Now she was only going out at first, only as one step, then two steps and four steps. Then eventually I put like a jackpot. I put about five treats there and that got her to walk all the way on her own. So we're tossing them for dogs. Their eyes are very attracted to movement. So the more that we toss these treats, the easier it is for her to see. And yeah. we're not, we're just making them available and telling her and showing her, but we're not encouraging her to go get them. Ooh, that's a long one. Greta, can you get that one? That's pretty advanced. That's all the way to the edge. That was the farthest she's gone so far. Now that's an awesome one. Oh, and she's lingering a little bit. And that was a good positive experience. She got to do it completely or on her own volition. She didn't have anybody encouraging her, so she came up with the courage herself. So that will help with her boosting her self-esteem. And the exposure helps her just practice going outside and getting a version of outside without it being overwhelming for her. Being on the street with cars zinging by and scooters and skateboards and people, probably just that would be a negative for her. So we, we started off by doing this out in the hallway in the building, because we're in an apartment building. So it's kind of a little bit outside without being outside. It's, it's a courtyard area, but, uh, and, uh, but it's not actually on the street. So again, an easier version of being outside. And you see her tail's going. She's really liking this. And what I'm going to have the guardian do next is actually kind of what he's doing already, is he's kind of getting her to go a little bit further out. Now, this is going to be very physically draining for her. So after this, these sort of things, make sure she has a little bit of a break and she's able to kind of uh, recharge her batteries a little bit. But before, like I said, she would only stick her head out and now she's going further and further. Greta, you're doing wonderfully, sweetheart. And look how she turned around, she's ready to go. Tail looks good. Good way of waiting for her to look before he threw. And she still lost it. So she doesn't have very good object tracking, which her guardian has noticed. And it's something that develops early on in puppies. I just found out for humans, it, develop, it needs to develop before they turn 11 years old. So there we go. Now I'm gonna have you kind of do what I just did. Just take a couple and kind of make a trail starting between this dish and that dish. One, and then about three inches, two, and then three inches and uh, three, and then two, uh, three inches and four. So there's a little bit of a pyramid of treats. And we call this a jackpot. It just, the more, the further, you use this as a jackpot when the dog achieves a really hard one or to motivate to do something that's very difficult for them to do. Now we're using the tricky, tricky trainer chicken liver treats. I wouldn't be surprised if she follows them out there. That's, look at that. Now go ahead and do them all the way, uh, do them for, uh, for all the way towards the, the edge. There you go. And there you go. So she, see how she's lingering, her tail's going a little bit. She's hearing a bus come by, or a delivery truck. That delivery truck is a little bit, a little bit much for her. Now that squeaking sound could have been something that was a negative, but because she was eating a treat at the time, same time she heard it, that becomes a positive. Now, if you, if you do have somebody like there's a lot of hustle and bustle going on or deliveries or there's a fight or something like that, that's not a time to practice this. We want to just kind of, so this doing it today when it's raining is really an awesome time to do it. All right, Greta, let's see if we can do another one. Such a good looking girl. What's he doing out there, Greta? Why don't you go investigate? That's right. Is he putting treats out there for you? He is. And notice he's not encouraging at all. He showed her they're available. She saw them. And he's going to take one out and kind of roll it a little bit just to get her going. So we're going to roll about halfway distance between that first, the first treat and the trail. And, and if she comes back, we'll just do, keep doing the same thing.
now she's seeing there's a whole bunch more. There we go. Look how far out she is. And there's people out there talking. Now she's a little bit, you can see she's hunched over and a little bit stiff. Those are signs of she's not com fully comfortable. But the fact that she's lingering there is wonderful. This, these, these sessions are pretty rewarding for me to do when you deal with a dog that's like had such a horrible experience. Look at that, without any, there are a couple treats left there. She went out to go clean them up. Greta, you're doing awesome, sweetheart. You're a little bit backlit. That's okay. You're making me do some tr tricky camera work here, Greta. Now, the mistake a lot of people make when they're doing this is they're encouraging, come here, come here and get these. Get, come and get it, come and get it. We're just making it available. If she comes and gets it, she gets a reward. She sees us offer them, but we're not telling her to go get them. Now, she's probably going to be more inclined to get them if you're hanging out there, but so we're just going to kind of wait right there. I meant if you were like hanging out over there. So uh, one of the things I recommend the guardian do is get a little lawn chair and sit it out here and just open the door when it's a nice day. Go out there and read a little bit. Uh, just, you know, in, don't invite her to come out, but just make it available. And the more that she passes through this door and has a positive experience and then comes back on her own volition, the more she's going to be willing to want to do this, repeat this activity again in the future. And the more she repeats it, the more confident she's going to get. And we get, we eventually get to a tipping point. Now we're going to complement this by also going out in the courtyard a couple of times a day as well. So this is part of her rehabilitation is just to have her practice coming further and further out. But again, we're not using a leash. We're not pulling. We're not providing any force whatsoever. This is all positive reinforcement because that's all you need, right? That's right, Greta. 